Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome. We are just getting some things set up because literally two seconds ago, we decided what to do for our video. It has just been a little bit crazy, but can you believe today is day 59? Isn't that insane? 59. 59. That insane is crazy. So we've definitely had, we've had a lot that we have gone through. You know, we've made earrings, we've made pendants, you guys have soldered, you've been doing casting, we've done, oh goodness, what else? We've done some riveting, we've done, what else have we done? There's so many things I don't even remember. We talked about all kinds of tools, so we've talked about soldering. Welcome Maria, Sherry, and Sue Ellen. So, oh, Sue Ellen, you got a busy day too, huh? <laughs> it has been so busy over here. We started off, Kate had the most fun this morning, didn't you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Kate got to go in for an MRI of her brain. So it was a little bit of a, a different experience for sure. So, but hopefully. At least it wasn't like. 30 pokes. <laughs> yeah, at least it wasn't like 20 or 30 pokes like the Botox stuff is, right? So for sure, it's kind of crazy. But, all right, so literally, we sat here as we were turning on all the cameras going, what should we do today? What should we do today? What should we do today? So we'll see how today goes. <laughs> and hopefully it goes all right. One poke today. Yeah, you only had one poke today. See, one poke is better than 20. And they weren't in your head, right? They weren't all over in your face this time. So that part's good. Yes? <laughs> so Kiari is kind of ignoring us. She's over at one of the jeweler's benches sawing away on her I'm unicorn. Part two of my unicorn. Part two of your unicorn? This is my second time sawing with it. Yeah, the second time sawing because with it, huh? The first time, the saw blade broke and I... I haven't gotten back to it since the saw blade. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, I got the saw blade in. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so we can do that. All right. So you've learned. Oh. Arlena, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I can't even talk. It's Monday, and I I think I've had um, I think I figured out I've had about three and a half hours of sleep. I even went to bed at somewhat decent last night. But I woke up at 1:30, and I didn't fall back to sleep until four. And of course, we had to get back up at six so that we could get out the door in time. I just went back to bed because I didn't fall asleep for forever last night. Yeah, you went back to bed for like what? I mean, we got back at. I don't even remember what time we, we got back, back at like 10. 10 something. Yeah, and you've been asleep ever since. I, I <laughs> woke her up like five minutes ago and said, come on, we gotta go. <laughs> but Arlena, you said that you've learned so much from the videos and um, I think because I've done with the kids, they break it down and that was better than you did in your classes. That's amazing, well thank you. So, you know, that's actually how I try to teach my classes. Uh, whether I'm teaching somebody who's very, very new or somebody who's a little bit more advanced. Obviously, when they're a little more advanced, I don't have to do a lot of the reminders. You know, uh, for instance, as we get into doing soldering, I'll stop the girls and be like, okay, now what did we use here? Now what are the stages of this here? So that it really kind of drills it in. So I'm really glad to hear that um, that you guys appreciate it and that it helps. So, Sue Ellen, you're going to have to drink the wine for me. We don't drink alcohol. Can you imagine how crazy we would be if we drank alcohol? Like, we're so hyper sometimes without it. I think alcohol would, we would be, we'd be messes. <laughs> I think it'd be even worse. <laughs> so, anyway, so I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. So, thank you. Well, I went through and I put all of the names into a list. Those of you guys who uh, also donated monetarily, I gave you guys extra entries based off of the amount. the amount. Yeah, the amount. So, you know, you, if you donated like 20 bucks, then you got a lot more 
entries than somebody that say like two or three dollars but of course if you donated two or three dollars you have a couple of extra entries in there as well so anybody who had commented on the video and then it also commented during the chat and then of course those who were donating um, monetarily so we ended up we actually ended up with double what we had last time because if you want to know what's funny our last giveaway was one month ago it was um, May 15th and today is June 15th wait really is that funny <laughs> yeah so. so we had to wait for Monday <laughs> yeah so we had to wait and so we ended up out I know sorry eventually I'll get them I, like I said I have everybody's information well I don't know that I have everybody's information I think there's a couple that I still need to get but send out the ones that you have tell you what you put them together and I'll send them out how's that okay I don't know where all the stuff is <laughs> give me the stuff I'll put them together and you send them out well see then they, that puts all that work back on me again <laughs> to have to come up with all the stuff so anyway this time we ended up with 85 85 entries so I think what we ought to do is we'll double that you guys will each pick your number and then we'll divide from there and we'll see who sits at our seat and well I don't know that I could do two people this time um, some of these I don't have enough so again we're talking about a full set of the silicone and rubber uh, accessories I can't I can't think it's just not my brain is not working so the accessories so we're talking about the full set of accessories not not my holder sorry first of all it's the prototype and second I don't have materials to make this one again yet. <laughs> I do have materials, however, on order. I'm trying to find a good source for the wood and see if I can get some of that in. Otherwise, it will just be made out of different woods. Matter of fact, so the girls and I, we went and cut a few more. So I have, I have a couple different sizes that I'm going to offer just to kind of show you. So I don't have these assembled yet, but just to show you kind of the differences. So here's my full one, then there's this one that's about half the size and then, and then that one is about half the size of that so it's only like a quarter of it so really let's see here let's show them this part yeah so there's this size and then there's <laughs> I can't get it my hands are too full then there's this size so it's like I said they're about half and then half again so half half. yeah so I've got a full a half and a quarter and those I think are the three sizes that I'm going to do there's already a couple of modifications that I'm going to make on them uh, for instance right now they are meant to hold 332 inch mandrels which means they are too small for those mandrels that are 1 8 inch so I think what I'm going to do is make the holes a little bit bigger either that or else I will put uh, I will put some that are bigger and then some that are smaller Glenda in answer to your question a whole set not just one style but a whole set so everything that is on this board our winner is going to receive maybe we should wait till tomorrow tomorrow is day 60 <laughs> <laughs> now we'll do it today they like your hair today too Hey, so, <laughs> well, it's clean. How's that? <laughs> it's clean and brushed. And you it dried went, it. It went through an MRI this morning. It did go through an MRI. MRI. <laughs> but anyway, so yes, a whole set. So the full set of what you see here is what I'm going to donate for this particular giveaway. Uh, whoever wins this, I would appreciate if you would chip in for shipping, but not required. But that is something uh, that would be there. So Misty, on this particular giveaway, um, in order to have entered for this, they had to leave a comment during the live chat, kind of like what you're doing now, but it was a couple of days ago, or you had to comment on the video. So this giveaway is kind of over. So today we're just gonna announce the winner. But when I do the giveaways on the live videos, we base it off of who's left a comment in the chat, or they come back afterwards and leave a comment in the video itself Louise I know 60 days that's just crazy to me um, let's see I could give 
I could give to more the other way. Yes, of course. <laughs> I could give more if I broke it all up for sure. So Kate, oh, Kiari, we need to know what Kiari's animal is. And Melanie is giving us a koala. Kiari, you haven't done the animal of the week. She's, no, 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 Kiari, you just concentrate on cutting. Oh, you did it. Nice. No, did you break the blade? No, I haven't finished. Okay. Mom, Kiari's animal is a unicorn. Yes. Okay. So, what is your, your what is your animal? Either a kiwi or a dog. A kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> a kiwi. Anyone who's been paying attention to the videos knows that one day we said that the, that my animal was a kiwi because of the hummingbirds. <laughs> hey, look! We've got a new one from Greece. Welcome from Greece. That's a nice long ways away from us today. Do you know what? I've got a friend that lives over in Greece. That's a jeweler. And I'm going to go over there and teach some classes once we get beyond all of this COVID Are you crap. Me right? I don't know. Are Maybe. Taking me right? I might take you. You're taking me. Maybe we could do it and like go to <laughs> Italy at the same time. Well, like back to back. That would be kind of fun. Uh, yes, Unicorn Girl is hard at work in the back. She's been over there cutting and piercing. Wait, Hurry, to... honey, because I need your number so that we can do this giveaway. <laughs> so. I have a question. Do you okay. think it would be fun if I made a kiwi and like a kiwi bird doll? A kiwi bird doll? Of course. And then I bought that in one day if I finish it in time for live videos. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, what do you so. guys think? <laughs> of course you should make make a kiwi. I know now like everybody's like I'm coming to Greece too. Because who wouldn't want to go to Greece? I want to go see that beautiful see, clear water she in take Greece. Me, and then we can all meet up. <laughs> and I love Greek food. I love Greek food. And wouldn't that be amazing to have like fresh Greek food made by people in Greece? See, you should take me and then we can just all do a meet up there. See, they said you do it. <laughs> you should totally do it. So you should get to work on your kiwi. Get that made. Okay, all right, back. Kiari, quit making so much noise and come here. We got to do this giveaway. And then we got to get started on our project. Because we're already into this 11 minutes. Oh, check that out. That's looking really good, honey. Nicely done. You know what? And from the back side, I mean, it looks, it looks fantastic. Check that out. <coughs> That's looking really nice, Kiari. I love the wee <laughs> day. Yeah, it's a jewelry field trip. Yes, I, I think day. we should totally take a jewelry field trip. Owl of the day. Okay, so our animal is an owl this week. Is it of the day or is it of the week? Day. The day, so tomorrow you're going to have something else good? I have Maybe another one. Color. Yeah, Actually, the pink one. I have two more owls. <laughs> Are they all different colors? I mean, technically, This scary. is the only brown one. We've got five. Yeah, because you got some bigger ones? No, I've got some. Hey, look, they oh, said no. that you did a really good job. Only... Like, if, <laughs> if we're only including mine, I have three. And they also have a rainbow owl. And if mm -hmm. I can get it, that's another owl for my owl family. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Hmm. An owl, huh? It's so do you know what? I ran across a Facebook memory today. And it had posted on there from when you were at daycare with Patty or preschool. Mm -hmm. And they asked what you wanted oh, to yeah. be. <laughs> when you grew up because it was your it was your preschool graduation do you know what yours said unicorn <laughs> yes when you grow up you want to be no, a like, unicorn yeah so, i want to be a unicorn okay still. it was like one of the kids yes. was like I want to be a Jedi. Hey, Everyone look, laughed. Louise sent you some owls today, so too. So one kid's like, I want to be a Jedi. Everyone <laughs> laughs. Next kid, I want to be a doctor. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then we had police officer. We had doctor. And then, singer. So, no. And then it was... Um, Jedi. Yep. Luke and wanted to be a Jedi. Else. Mine's the only one that was And then an it was animal. unicorn. And everyone laughed even more. <laughs> I think mine was a, the only animal. Probably. <laughs> Probably. The only yep. difficult creature. Maybe you should yep. so work with the animals. You and Lukey were kind of off on your own. A Jedi master and a unicorn. Maybe you guys <laughs> ought to go work with them. Maybe that's what you should do. You should go work in the movies and then you can go work with them. There you go. All right. <laughs> Give me a number between 1 and 170. Flip it over so we don't see. Oh, yeah. 170. 42. Um, 42. Okay. 10. 10? What? I'm going to be 10 in December. Okay, fine. And I will put a number of 100. So I will do 100. 
It okay. Gives the option Are we gonna add them? 42. I will uh -huh. always say 42. So our number is 152. Okay, and let's area? take, no, there's not 152, but this was a way for us to each put in a number, and now we're going to divide that. So okay. our winner sits at number 51. I want to say it. See it. Who there's sits at 51? 42, I will say it. Oh, this person is going to be very happy. We... It looks like one. It is one. We won Mer. 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 Maid. Maid. Ooh, we won Mermaid. La one Mermaid. That is Kate loves Louise. Mermaid. So that is our friend Did Louise. Did you do it before? And you know, Louise has not won before. And Louise has supported us. Woo! And she has Woo! been here almost every clap, day. Clap, 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 so clap. congratulations. Yeah, it was for you. <laughs> Kathy, that's why she picks the number 42. See? 42. <laughs> Everyone knows why. The answer why. to life, the uniforms. Are you free already? <laughs> uniforms. The uniforms. The uniforms. The uniforms. The uniforms. I'm surprised you didn't say unicorn. <laughs> the answer, answer to life, unicorn, and everything. Yeah, unicorn and everything. Well, congratulations, Louise, and thank you. I mean, Louise, you have been here almost every day. And we really appreciate that. So I'm glad that we are able to give back to you in some way as well. The answer to mythical creatures, so unicorns, and dragons, and mermaids. <laughs> See? And you just fit right in because you're the mythical creature as well. So ooh, congratulations, ooh. Louise. And you guys, we're not done doing giveaways. We'll ooh, do more. Ooh, I have ooh. lots of good stuff to give away. So congratulations again. And like I said, thank you. Thank you so much, all of you guys, for being here and supporting us. My saying goodbye. So. My owl is waving goodbye. <laughs> oh, Glenda says her number is 80. <laughs> oh, darn it. I hate it when we get internet connection issues. Luckily, since I've upgraded, we've actually done really well. I think we had one day that was really buggy. But I think that's because they were doing work down the street. 80. So. Um, I need the pencil, please, so we can mark down that Louise won. Who said that down. they were 80? What's that? I wrote it down. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Who said they were 80? Her, her number is 80. Ooh, okay. Louise is. So when oh, she picks a number. Oh, that's how old she is? Well, actually, she did just turn 80, but when she picks a number. <laughs> you have a fuzzy. I tried yeah. to blow it off, and it didn't blow up. So. I've got some weird lucky numbers. My lucky numbers are 13, 8, 118 and 42. Why 118? 42! My locker was 118 last year. I've had a couple of classes in classroom um, 118. 118. <laughs> Isn't that so, funny how like certain numbers just kind of kind of get with you in there like that too? So now, okay, I'll be back. That, that's why. I'm be sad. <laughs> well, Louise, I'm so glad that we could keep you smiling for two months and thank you for helping us do that. So it's been kind of fun. All right, so let's get into our project. And like I said, you guys, we'll have some good giveaways. And the girls even were talking about maybe auctioning off some of the pieces that they have have been making. Does they, anybody like my rainbow? I think it's pretty. <laughs> I think your rainbow is pretty stinking awesome, Kiari. Maybe somebody will buy it. Are you wanting to sell it or you want to keep it? We could sell it. Yeah. I don't know my first She's like, I don't know. I know. I think you should keep your first one. Yeah, I think I could, should keep every piece that's my first piece. <laughs> so Alan yeah. Revere says that anytime you try out a new technique or skill, you should always keep that first piece. You know, it was really kind of fun when I, because I was at Alan Revere's uh, a little, um, let's see, sorry, just seeing, seeing a comment. I was at Alan Revere's a little over a year ago, and it was so much fun to go through his studio and look and see how things were set up. It was a brand new studio that he had just set up. But one of the things that was there is he had this really cool old jewelry chest and in it were all of his firsts. And I got to see all of these firsts and they were so neat. And I got to see the originals that were from the book, uh, Professional Jewelry Making. And it was just awesome to see that. I'll have to create a post on Facebook and, and go through and pop some of those in there as well. 
Um, you know what we should do? What's that? If we wanted to sell like the cupcake and the rainbow, we should go through mm -hmm. and make another one. Absolutely. But of different colors and so. That'd be kind of cool. Well, and I think at this point in time, because that rainbow or that cupcake was a pretty technically challenging piece, and you did awesome. But remember how you were like, I don't want to touch it because you were afraid of, <laughs> of melting something or things moved. Remember that? And I said, nope, suck it up, do it. And now I think that you could do it on your own. Oh, Mommy, we should show them the heart that I made on Friday. Your heart? Where is it? I don't know. Oh, I know where it is. I think it's just over there on the table, although I might have put it away. Yeah, so after we got done with all the sand casting videos and I turned everything off, uh, I, Kiari went through and packed another one, another mold, and she did this great big heart, and it turned out beautifully. She did it again in pewter. We'll find that, and we'll show you guys, yeah, too. Yeah, I didn't do another one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't do another one. She left the studio as soon as she could. She's like, out of here, goodbye, because <laughs> she didn't want me to make her try to cast that little thing again. And that was, you know what, that is the one of the trickiest pieces to cast. I probably should not have let you do that on your first one, but there were a lot of good lessons in it. But that one was by far out of almost all of my, my models that I have, that was probably one of the trickiest to cast because it was so fine and so small and it was totally open and we were casting it in bronze. So it, that was pretty tricky. Else. Well, I mean, you know what? I totally think it would have worked if we had done it in pewter. I think that that pewter, it's got such a low melting point and a high uh, a flow rate. I mean, it's so runny. I think it would have actually done really well in the pewter. So I think you need to try again for sure. And let's try it in the pewter and see what you think. And if you can get it with the pewter, let's try it in some silver. See if it works. Maria, on Friday, Friday's was kind of cool. It was definitely an interesting uh, demonstration. We did a couple pieces in sand casting. And I need to redo some of the sand casting videos or maybe make another one or something because there are still a couple of other steps that we glossed over really fast because we were alive and, and whatever else. But there are a few other tips that I would definitely pass on uh, if we were to do it again. So that might be something in the future. Well, if people would stick with us during a live video and just know all the tips and tricks. <laughs> well, if they're here, they get all the tips and tricks. I mean, quite honestly, guys, I think I'm gonna start pulling some of the videos down because all of my information is sitting out here right now for free. So you better hurry up and watch them if you want those tips and tricks because I'm not leaving them. <laughs> just so you know, I need to be paid for some of my work, right? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so that is probably That's something. Thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. Um, so Alice, it was, in the case of Kate's, I do think hers was a heat issue. I think that that was our biggest problem is that I did not get that bronze quite hot enough and I knew it wasn't hot enough. I could see that it wasn't. And had we had a more open cavity for the mold itself rather than that really fine wire, I think it would have gone okay. Like if we had done the heart that Kiari did, I think bronze probably would have done okay in that one. But uh, the one that we had set out for Kate, it was just, the heat was definitely the culprit on that one. Okay, all right, so let's see what we wanted to do. So as we were turning on all of the equipment, I'm not kidding, we were kind of sitting here going, what should we make, what should we make, what should we make, what should we make? <laughs> we're so bad. Oh, we just haven't. We should do my butterfly or my heart with the unicorn. The heart with the unicorn. Yeah, and you're like, I know. no, we're not doing a full piece. Right, well, I don't want to do a great big piece right now because I've got some other work that has to be done. Uh, Glenda, you were asking about the polishing. No, as far as I know, there is not. They come in packages of 12 and 24. Um, and you know, as an idea, I mean, what if, what if I were to purchase a couple of packs? I mean, this would require people to pre-order. 
and maybe I could do like a couple packs and we could put together an assortment or something because as far as I know there is not any way to buy an assortment like this where you get like one of each I'm, I'm not aware of anything at all like that uh, the reason that they offer them in packs of 12 and 24, one, it's easy to package them that way, but they are consumables. So it is something that you will go through and probably quite quickly. Uh, one of my, I mean, some of my, my accessories, they can last for maybe a month or so, depending on how heavily I'm doing polishing and grinding and whatever else. But not only that, you don't really need everything. So if you guys remember watching the video that I did on these, like there's in the silicone, there's two of them that are 600 grit and there are two of them that are 180 grit. I think it's 180 grit. Okay, and one just is a little harder composition than the other. So it's not like you would need everything. And not everybody really needs every one of those shapes either. Uh, but as far as I know, there is not smaller packaging. So it just, they come in a box. Oh, I don't even think I have, yeah, I do have a box. So they would come in boxes similar to this. And so that's just how they do them. Uh, but good question, and I can ask I can ask Fordham if there's a way that they can make smaller ones, but as far as I know, they don't. Uh, so, MH, do I make my own ear posts? Matter of fact, that's what we're going to do today. So we are going to make some post earrings, and we're just going to use some wire. In this case, I'm going to use 20 gauge, which is 0.8 millimeters, and that's what we will be using there as well. So Alice, you said, I wonder does ca gravity casting require more heat than centrifugal uh, or centrifugal? I'm not positive. I know the ladder casting small pieces um, is a piece of cake for the experienced. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know that it requires more heat. The centrifuge is nice because obviously you get the momentum of the spinning of your, your flask that will force that material into, into the cavities. That's a good question. I'll have to ask. I'll ask some of my, I'll ask some of the peeps what they know. <laughs> and I'll have to get back to you on that. All right, so Kate in our little rushed, what should we do uh, thing that we were going through, decided that she wanted to make a pair of post earrings. And what I have here, Kate, will you switch us to this camera over here? Uh, bottom one, yep, there you go. So what I have here is a shaped disc cutter. It's got nine different shapes. All of these run approximately 13 millimeters, 12, 13 millimeters. So they're not big. They're perfect for a post earring. Uh, you can get these any number of places. Whenever you get the shaped ones, they are a little bit more expensive because of what it takes to make them. Round ones are going to be less expensive because really you just need something to bore a hole or you just need to grind a rod. You know, so round is pretty easy to make. Once you get into different shapes, the prices go up exponentially. So a set like this, I would expect to pay close to 300, between like two and $300 easy for a set like this. So they're not inexpensive, but they're very, very handy when you want some of those smaller items. Um, you've decided which, the heart or the flower? You're gonna do the heart. So here we have a heart, and I believe, so we're also going to put a, a tube set stone on this. My girls are gonna be proficient at tube setting when we're done. <laughs> uh, so let's pull this guy out. This one does not have the best case, but at least it has a case. Like normally they just come, you said a heart, right? Yeah. Okay, so normally they just come in a box and then all of your punches are kind of sitting free. So this one was kind of cool that it had the little wooden box, although it doesn't really fit. So anyway, what we're going to do, what it happened to our metal here? It is. So we have two pieces of sterling silver that are already 
that have been put through the rolling mill. Both of these patterns came from Roberta Peel. She's got some beautifully made texture patterns and that's where these came from. So which one do you think you would like to do? I think the flower on that one. You want the flower or what? No, which one do you think would look better with that? Um, I think you'll see the detail of the flower more than you will of the swirls yeah. since the swirls are kind of long, but either one would be fine. You want to do the flower? Okay. Now this one is pretty thin. Where's our calipers? This one is, I want to say like 26 gauge even. Uh, I don't think it's 24. I'll bet that's 26. So this is 0.5 millimeters, so half a millimeter. I don't know what my gauge is for that because I haven't learned them all yet. I'm still working on that. Okay, so Kate. How, how do you know which one to put it into? Because there's like only Yeah, there's a couple lines here, right? But they're just grooves. So you would know because if you tried to put it into something like that or that, it won't go. But in here it will. Why? Now, what's that? Why are there so I think it's just design. I think that's the only reason maybe for that. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe so you know it's the top because you know the bottom looks like that. So maybe it's so that you know that it, this is the top. I don't know. So here's one thing too. Great. When uh, I look for disc cutters, this is not of the quality that I would really truly want in a disc cutter. Things that I really like in a disc cutter are not having a fixed base. So the problem with this one is that when I put my metal in here, there is a ton of wiggle room, okay? And that can be a really big issue because what happens is you will get your metal in here, you'll get your punch, you'll go to strike it, and if you don't go all the way through, your metal can move. It can kind of bounce around on you. And then when you finally get your punch through, you'll see that you've got all these half marks from where you went to hammer it through and it didn't go. So that's a disadvantage of that. In addition to this, my, the bottom of my piece, while it's nice and sharp here on the edges, it is completely blunt, like totally flat, okay? The other disc cutters, like if you looked at Swanstrom, Durston, or Pepe, they're gonna have an angle, usually about 17 degrees for an angle, and that is going to allow your punch to go through that metal a lot easier because you're just shearing it rather than trying to force your whole way through it. This one has to be forced through. Now because of that, sometimes you will end up with more burrs on your piece than that is desirable. So Kate, what I want you to do is you just kind of look through here and you place this where you want your pattern, okay? So let me zoom you out just a little bit so people can see kind of what you're doing. Right there, you're good. Okay, you're looking in the heart, you're looking in the flower. The heart. Okay, because when I looked, like there was nothing there. All right, so let's put this guy in here. I'm gonna push him down to hold him into place. Now you can kind of let go. So notice, oh, look, we didn't even switch the camera. Let's try that again. <laughs> go ahead, let go. That one? Yeah, let go. So, oh wait, no, it's this one right here. That's why I was asking. Um, Yvonne, there is a possibility that I could create the angle myself, but I don't know that it would be fantastic if I did do that. So I, I think it would be a lot of work. This one has to be forced through. What's that? Yeah, this one has to be forced through. This one has to be forced through, yeah. And hopefully you get it on your first try so you don't end up with all those bounce marks. So what I was doing, she put her metal in once she got the design, and so we were holding it up here because we were trying to show you what it looked like, but we failed. So then what I did was I put the heart in and I pushed it and held it down so that we could then bring this down I onto the table. Is there some way to kind of clamp it in place or get like stuff to hold this here, like if you stacked up more metal? I don't know, but you gotta be careful because did you just move our piece? So take it out, let's look again. Make sure, okay, I think we're good. Are you good yep. where you want? Okay. Um, get something else I think if you had the ability to uh, put in that 17 degree angle, then you could, but it might be difficult 
I don't know. I, I haven't tried that. I don't have the right equipment for that. All right, so go ahead and go after that and strike away. I don't know that I can get on my first try though. Oh, you totally can. <laughs> Pretend that you're really ticked off at Riley or somebody. What am I ever I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Kiari liked that idea. <laughs> I love hammering this because I'm going to get all of my energy. Really hard. No. I think you got through enough. I think that you actually did get through the metal. So I don't think that you have to strike uh, too much. So go ahead. There you go. Okay. Uh, so now, there we go. I, all I did was I kind of pushed that a little bit. See that? But sometimes what happens is exactly this. And this is another reason that I don't really care too much for this open, open piece in here. Because now my punch is stuck. This... Okay, I was able to pull it out. But I have a little brass piece. This was like 14 gauge brass or something like that. And typically what I'll do is I'll pull it onto my board, hang it over, put this on here, and then I'll hammer that down to kind of push out my cutter. And that's something that I just don't have a problem with when I'm using something from uh, Pepe or Durston or Swanstrom. I know, Tom gave us a big thumbs up. Kiari, come here, we got a thumbs up. Thank you, Tom, appreciate that. And Maria, you know what, I have to admit, like sometimes it blows me away how much I know too. So it's been kind of fun to be able to work with all the different tool companies. Sometimes I can keep it straight, and then other times I'm just a jumbled mess, as you have seen. So Kate, what you need to do now is you need to find and put on here another heart and uh, put that back in there. Do we want to try and find the same design? Only if you want to, it doesn't matter to me. Design would be right there. Well, and keep in mind, you're going to put a tube setting on top of this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So either way. I think right here would be pretty good. It's quite all off. Yes, it is. So that same heart or flower is, it's, right there. it's always cut off. Uh -huh. I, don't I don't know. I don't think you could do it right there anyway. So just go ahead and just pick one down here. Like that one, that one, which one? What's that? That one, that one. Do this one. I like this one. So she's trying to pick which, uh, which flower on here she likes. Yeah, go ahead. So there's, like this whole thing is just like a garden. And so she's just trying to pick which flower she wanted to have on there as well. <clears throat> you gotta hurry. Tom is still waiting for you to come give him his thumbs up. <laughs> well, I had to wait because... Did you get it all pierced out? Or did you break it? No. But it's, my saw was like in the middle almost. Yep, that's when you have to come... You got to get to a stopping point. You're right. So Kate is trying to get it lined up. Yes. Oh, good. See, And then see how she's holding her thumb on there? Hang on just a second. We've got to... Hang on. Okay, Kate, so before you strike that, yeah. Okay, so this is for Tom. Ready? He's giving us the, the thumbs up. <laughs> so thank you, Tom. We appreciate that. All right, go ahead, Kate. <laughs> oh, yeah, you had to add the jump in. Good job. Wait, she already switched the camera, dude. She's not, you're not seeing it because she already switched the camera. I'm sorry. But they didn't get to see the thumb. Okay, well, we'll do it again in just a second. Let her do this part. Okay, so pretend that you're ticked off at somebody and let them have it. Come down really nice and hard on it, but actually, nice. Nope. Okay, that actually did go through your metal, so that was good. That's what you really want. So in this case, look, that's all you had to do, like tap it down. But see how it gets stuck in here? So, all right. So there's that, good. And I just, in this case, I pushed it, hang on, pushed it through with my thumb. This is how I typically get this out of here. So I'll just take this and go like that. Yeah, so that way it just kind of pushes that out. Okay, hang on, Kate's gotta switch it over. All right, Tom, she's gotta do your little thumbs up again. <laughs> Wait, you gotta do the jump? Now you gotta do the whole thing now. <laughs> Does he wiggle his shoulders? Like he's like, <laughs> well, Tom's getting his money's worth on this one, huh? <laughs> Good job. Okay, Kate. All right, so another thing. Thank you, Kiari. <laughs> he sent another one. Oh, come here. You got to do it again. <laughs> we get to do this. We can do it all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Aw, thanks so much, Tom. 
<laughs> Maybe send it on once, then you got it. There you go. So sad. All right, so Kate, if you feel these, feel what that feels like. There is ever so slight of a little bit of a burr on these. And that can be something that's somewhat uncomfortable when you know, depending on which way they're facing. In this case, they're facing away from the ear, so it wouldn't be as big of an issue, but it's still not something that we would want to have. So, guess how you take care of that? Bye. Okay, <laughs> but wait, listen, if you don't want to file, I have a whole set of accessories. She totally took off down the hall. Get back in here. Come on. Come on, hurry fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom, we appreciate you giving us a reason to be funny, so thank you. <laughs> All right, so we have a whole list of accessories or items that you could use, plus you can actually use the sandpaper drum. If you put this into your flex shaft, then it's not quite so bad, right? Plus, I also have here one of our silicone that's the coarse one, and you could use that as well. So let's say that we did want to do this. Where is the thing to pull my hair back? I think we all, everything got moved over to the other, I don't, I think it's over there because that's where we were filming last week, and I don't think it made its way back over here. Why don't you go find something? We need more hair things over here. What's that? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll just stick mine back in my shirt. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll just do it that way. I'll just stick it back there. Hair tie, use your hair. <laughs> mine won't stay. What in the world? Nice. Mine won't stay <laughs> like that. All right. So anyway, and then you. Where's our masks? Where's my mask? Okay, here's my mask. No, not right now because you're all the way over there. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we are, we need a bench pin. We're just going to quickly, quickly, I can't even talk, quickly clean this up. Let's come to this camera. Let me zoom in just a bit. Okay, so what I would do on this, just to get rid of this burr, we'd come in here. And that's all it takes. It's so subtle. I mean, it's there, but that's all it takes. So I did this one, you have to do the other one. All right. Maria, so you know what? If you guys look back at the videos, um, not, not so much obviously the quarantine videos, but my videos all together, my hair is usually here. And right now my hair is here. So I'm still getting used to having long hair and I don't know what to ever do with it. <laughs> so, all right, Kate. I know, I need to come up with some cute hairstyles. See, I could help you. I know you could. Okay, so I want you to do what I just did on that one. Okay, I'm going to start to get our soldering set up ready. So go ahead and here's this. You just need to take off those edges, okay? No, okay, so what you want to do is you want to hold it. So that way... It's stuck to my finger. Well, there you go. So you need to hold that. Okay, good. Let me move this stuff out of our way so that we can do soldering. It's the one that you held the sandpaper. Mommy, What's that? It's the one that you held the sandpaper. Well, the groove. Yeah, it is. It's the one that I held up against the file. What, I baby? This yet. Don't jinx yourself. <laughs> as soon as you start talking about you haven't broke a blade, I guarantee you, you're going to break that blade. <laughs> it stinks that that's how it works. You did? <laughs> You're silly. Little liar. But you said don't cheat yourself. I <laughs> You're right. Okay, I get it. All right, how's that coming, Miss Kate? So every now and then I want you to feel it. Okay, and instead of coming in on it with the point like that, what I do is I will come with it like this right here like that. And okay, instead of coming on like that, if you do it like this, then it takes this and it smooths that whole side down. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? 
There's your heart. Okay. You got it all right? No, you messed around with the wire. Sorry. I was just moving it out of the way so I could put the soldering station here. Sorry, dude. Okay. Let me go grab our flux. You're doing pretty darn good. Hey, me. Both of you. <laughs> Kiari, that is amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys, wait until you see this. How much is that? What? How is that? What? All right, well, welcome back, Sue Ellen. So, um, it's under the, oh, we did. Thank you so much. Uh, they said that our, um, Arlena saw that the other heart went underneath the soldering station. Thank you, we will look there. Otherwise, I'd be like, where did it go? <laughs> it's because I bumped it. Arlena wins the prize of the day. I don't know what the prize of the day is. A hundred Melissa points. A hundred Melissa points. You win a hundred Melissa points. What do the Melissa points do? I don't know. Maybe, but maybe they're like just bragging rights. Points to get a prize. Oh yeah, Kiari's gonna give you a prize. I maybe think. Maybe that no. she. Maybe <laughs> she can choose if we do another giveaway. She can choose to like get more. Um, Wait, entries in that giveaway. Point. There you go. We'll see. All right. Okay, you done? How is it feeling? I've only done one side. Oh, well, hurry. You gotta go faster. <laughs> Arlena likes that she gets bragging rights. All right, Arlena, you get 100 Melissa points and bragging rights for the day. How's that? <laughs> okay. Let's see. What's today? Today's Monday, huh? 59. Day 59, I know that's just crazy that we've done this for 59 days. So much for 14 days. Right? Darn quarantine. You done yet? No, I've only done one side. Come on. Oh, and then you threw it on the ground. <laughs> you stinker. All right. You want me to do it? <laughs> let's see, let's feel it. Actually, you only have just one little spot on here really that needs it. What did I just do with my mask? I need somebody to screw my head on. I don't have a screwdriver. Yeah, something. There, look, now I look like everybody else out in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so really quickly, actually, are you, I have an idea for another there we go, okay. What's that? I have an idea for another t-shirt. Another t-shirt design? So Kate's gonna come up with a line of t-shirts that have quirky sayings. Okay, so I think we're done with that. All right, so now that we've got that done, what we need to do is, because she is going to set a stone on these, we're going to have to solder in two phases. And we don't even have pickle on. That means that we are not gonna be able to finish this up today, I don't think. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll just have to scrub it down. So anyway, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get uh, our tube settings onto this. Can you tell them some of the shirt sayings? You wanna tell them the shirt saying ideas? Uh, so one of them we actually I actually came up with a bit of it while I was camping with some of my friends. Yeah. When you were uh, doing it with um, one of my friends when I got camping. With Delilah. So I but don't then we just added on to it. Yeah. You can't be social yet. There's still more jewelry to make. 
There you go. I like that one. And then this is one that Riley came up with. Eat, don't sleep. Why won't this piece work? <laughs> yes. Did you do one about your solder melting? No. Or your yet. piece melting, your solder not flowing? No, not yet. Hmm. I have another. Creativity is my middle name. <laughs> that one would be accurate for you. <laughs> you should come on screen. But yes, I think that would be accurate for you. I have another one that you guys might like. I'm one of Melissa's mini metal smiths. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Um, so you guys know, also, I have talked with Halstead, like I said before, they no longer carry all of these uh, tube setting punches. They do not carry these. However, they are able to order them in for me. I did find out that they are $42 each, okay? And they come, and I'm, I'm actually, there's one that I do not have that I will be getting in as well. So it's perfect timing if you guys want to order them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a listing out in my shop, out on melissamuir.com. It is not there yet, but it will be. And they will come in two, three, four, and, or two, three, four, five, and two, three, four, five, six, yeah. That's right. So two, three, four, five, and six millimeters. Like I said, they are a bit more expensive, which is why people are kind of like, ah, oh, I don't know if I want that. But you don't have to buy all of them. But if you guys would like to, let's do a pre-order and then I'm going to order a bunch of these in. At the same time, if you are interested, I can also order in some tube settings as well as maybe a couple of different CZs. I'll see what what they have as far as the colors go or, or any of that. And then we can, like I said, we can do a pre-order. And what I'll do is once I get those listed, so tomorrow, I'll try to get those listed tonight if I've got some time. Uh, and then as soon as I have we those listed, have hang on, hang on just a second. Shh, just let me talk, honey. Mm -hmm. uh, once I have them listed, I will make sure you guys know, and we can do a pre-order for anybody who wants that. I don't know exactly how long it will take them to get in, because it's, like I said, it's not something that they keep in stock, but they were able to say, you know, that they can procure those for me. Uh, so they are $42 a piece. Like I said, it is kind of expensive, but I really do like these. They're very nicely finished on the inside. So I forked over my money for it. I, I did not have too big of a problem doing that because they really are nice. And the one that I do not have is the two millimeter. So I'm going to be ordering that for me as well. Um, so let's see, Bobby, you said that you were going to Text me today and ask if it's too late to order. So nope, not too late to order. Like I said, I'll try to get that listed out on my site. I'll figure out, uh, maybe I guess, maybe I'll give us like through the week to get those because my person is actually out for the week. So maybe we'll use this week to do the pre-orders on, on these tools and the tube settings. And then uh, once we have those, then I'll ship them out. So, uh, and I think the $42 is I raised the price just a little bit to help kind of cover the cost of, of the shipping to me. So they're, they're just under $42. But um, like I said, she needs a little bit of money so, she can <laughs> so I can pay the shipping. And then of course I would charge whatever the shipping is to you and you guys would pay that portion of that. And then like I said, I'll maybe, cause I need to order some additional tube settings. I, I think I'm down to three of my three millimeters. So I'm gonna order some more tube settings as well as some of the stones. It's okay. No, 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 I'm not looking at messages right now on the phone. So anyway, that's something to think about. All right, so Kate, what you need to do is we need to solder these tubes into place on our metal at this point. So what I want you to do is you get to walk through it all by yourself. And can I show them my unicorn? Yes, actually, let's do that. Hang on, let's take a unicorn break here really quick. So Kate, why don't you get your tools ready? So you're gonna need a paintbrush. Here, Kiari, let's look here. Do, 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 there's, there is your unicorn. Turn it this way. Okay, so this is what you started with, right? Wait, after. I know. There we go. Now we're perfect on the screen. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so show them what you did, Kiari. 
So here's what I started with. And now, uh, if I can get it out. No, 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 it's gotta be back here. Put it right back there. You did such an awesome job. And then look, if you put it this way, uh, hang on, we're not on. Wait. There we go, now we're on. Well, we weren't on the screen. I was just trying to put it on the screen. Here, take your fingers away so that it will focus on this because the camera's being dumb. But yeah, check that out. That is so awesome, Kiari. You did an amazing job. You guys, she's nine years old and just learned how to saw. Barely. Awesome, dude. You did a great job. All right, let's put this back up here on Kate. See what Miss Kate's doing. There we go. Do you guys love the unicorn? I think, give them just a second and I'm sure that their comments are gonna come pouring in. <laughs> Look at that, excellent Kiari, good job. Great job. Oh, great job, sorry, great <laughs> job. Well, I think you've done an awesome job. All right, so you decided to use liquid Ooh, flux on this one, Kate? Uni, 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 friends, uni. Okay, uni. so. That's so cute and adorable. Now, keep in mind that when you do this with the liquid flux especially, what's going to happen is it's going to bubble, right? It's, you're gonna really bubble out. So say? don't be too concerned. Good on ya. She's from Australia. So good on ya means good job. Nice, so yeah. So, and Bobby says, Kiari, that is amazing. You're Bobby, going to be as good as your mom. Good job, Kiari. <laughs> that is amazing. Yes. Okay, that is amazing. You're going to be as you are good going as your to mom. Be as good as your mom before you know it. <laughs> good job. All right, and really well done. Nicely done, baby. You did yes. a great job. All right, okay, Kate, yes. you know what we don't have? What do we not have that we need in order to be successful? Yes! You can't do a whole lot without a torch, can you? It's kind of hard to solder without the torch. Can I get a coin? Who can wants I to fill it up? <laughs> can I get money because I didn't get yeah. Can you get money? And I only broke one blade doing this. All right. So one of the things that we always do... Hang on. <gasps> That's what? what you get. Oh, look at that. Anna is awesome. Oh, $14. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Actually, I'm not sure what that one is. S-E-K. We'll have to look up and see what her money is. Because that's not U.S. dollars. So I don't know what it translates to, but that's pretty stinking Scottish awesome. I don't know. Dollars. I don't know. Scotland dollars? What do you tell her? Thank you! <laughs> You totally made her day, Anna, so thank that, you that's so much. Nice. <laughs> sure, that's your prize. There's your prize, yep. Does YouTube only take one dollar away? Oh, I wish. No, YouTube takes quite a bit, darn it. From that? Probably. How much would they take? I don't know, because I'm not exactly sure what that translates to. Did you get it to where it was spitting? I couldn't tell. Okay. Ow. So you can kind of tell when you listen. So go ahead. I can't see either. All right, so yeah, that looks like, well, this might be frozen over now too. Okay, I think that's just frozen. So I think we're good now. Let that sit for just a couple seconds. Yeah, you can leave it off of that as well. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you, oh, and I was gonna say, cause normally isn't it pretty early for you over there um, in Australia? I want to go to Australia. That would be fun. Maybe we should go there then. <laughs> think we should go to Australia? I know, we gotta figure out. I know, we gotta get rich. <laughs> we need to figure out a way to get rich so that we can go to all these different places. Oh, Anna says she's in Sweden. Oh, is that what it means? Mm-hmm. How much did she mm -hmm. take away? I don't know, we'll have to do a conversion on that. Wait, so it says Swedish, so it's about $1.50 is what she gave you. They take away? Um, or we keep. So, it's a Swedish Corona, yeah, so $1.50. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh, Yvonne, she's really good with the jeweler saw for sure. I, it's been amazing to watch her. Matter of fact, I had another couple memories that just popped up. Do you know what you and Manga were doing four years ago? No. <laughs> you guys were doing jewelry school here in yep. the studio. So four years ago is when Kate started to learn 
some of this as well. How old was she? Um, four years ago, you're 13 now, so she was nine. She is your age, she was in third grade. So I going so into fourth grade. grade. What? <laughs> yeah. Yep, so the exact same age. Matter of fact, I think Riley, I know Riley was about nine when I started her on a jeweler's saw as well. So you guys all started kind of about the same time. Okay, we could start. I think so. So first thing you're going to do is you're gonna get that, that dry, right? All right, so let's go back over here. Swell and I agree, they are both becoming very skilled. It's been kind of fun to watch. I'm done with soldering for today. I think You're done with soldering? Yeah. Well, what? Little. Are you going to do this some more? Is this right? Or is that enough? Well, so far, All right. I think I'm done I with think, doing soldering. I think we're probably good. So, are you just trying to put that in the middle of yeah, your piece or in the middle of the flower? flower? Okay. So, it's like a little. Okay, so this one, did he move or is it he really moved offset? A lot. Okay, well, then what, what you do. I Okay, we'll see you in a little bit, baby. Bye, I love you. Bye, everybody. Have a happy... Here, hang on. Bye, everybody. Have a happy unicorn day. Bye. Do not turn on the television. <laughs> what are you going to go do? No TV. <laughs> I don't know. Go work on your math facts and your reading. Okay? Oh, I know. Go on. No, now I want to stay. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> because I want to watch a movie. That's what no, I you've do. watched enough movies. No more screen time today. I haven't watched it enough. Well, Kate, you, when you set down a torch, you always make certain that you put it in some place that it there cannot tip over. Okay. Got you, got you. Judy, thank you. I couldn't remember. I was like, man, I got to go look at the email that you'd sent. So Judy is in Australia. <laughs> Which side's the top? Uh, okay, good question. Which side is the top? Actually, I'm going to go finish If you my look at it, remember um, that the bottom it. side has a little thicker. Okay, go ahead and go finish Susan that. Okay. Post. No TV. I'm, I'm actually going to go. All right. We'll see you soon. Well, I'm going to go finish my food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go do that then. Yes, that is correct, Kate. So good. So yeah, so sometimes you have to look at this piece kind of carefully, right? And another thing too is when our flux goes into this powder sugar phase, it's really sticky and it's, it's stiff. So it doesn't allow you to move things around. And what you do is you move it when you hit that maple syrup phase, when it's all brown and gooey, because then things will move. All right? So now, get, here's your solder. What? I was just trying to get it off. Like. Right. Uh, there's a pair of tweezers over there by, okay, right there, I guess. <laughs> Fine. You just pick them. <laughs> I'm impressed with How this many? little unicorn that she did. Check that out. How many pieces of flour do you have for me? Just one in each. Okay. And you just put it right in the middle of that tube. Mm -hmm. So just put it right in the middle of each of those tubes. Nope. You're just moving it around still. Don't worry about its position right now because... Well, no, it fell out. Oh, did it fall out? Okay. Yeah, we definitely have to worry about that part. For sure. Come back here. Oh, you flipped one into the rocks. <laughs> no, leave it. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So here you go. You ready? Get your pick ready. You Get your torch ready. Right yep. Oh, well. Here you go. Dang. Come on. Come on. One moment. Louise, I know I'm pretty impressed with what she did. That's that's pretty detailed for this is her first solo piece. And only two saw blades. Yeah, I think she did only two saw blades on this one. That's not bad. That's kind of impressive. Alright, go ahead and let's get this going. So make sure you've got your torch Dang going. Okay. Yep, good. Torch is in your left hand. I'm going to show you guys how she's doing this because this oh, is all no. her. It's okay. No, 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 no. Remember what I said. It's okay. Yeah, no. So what we do is we just kind of keep our pick nearby so that that way when we hit that brown and gooey phase. Ouch. It's okay. Go ahead. Keep coming. There. Is that about where you want it? Okay, it, it's not flown yet. I can't yes, tell. be very, very careful here. Very, very careful. Yes, just like this. Good. Keep coming in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, our solder has flown, but it flowed onto the walls of our setting. Good. Nice torching technique, Kate. Beautiful. 
Yep. Try to avoid. Nice. Avoiding that tube. Okay. We might just have to. Oh, there it goes. There it went. Perfect. We're done. Nicely done. So on this one, kind of keep your torch around the outside of this. Don't touch. Try not to hit the uh, tube itself. Nice. That looks really, really good. Okay. Look, that one. That one just flowed. Stop. Your flowed. On to the piece. Yeah, it did. It flowed already. So go ahead and turn off your torch. Nicely done, sweetie. Okay. Yeah. Put it in the base. You've got now. You've got solder in the base. I know. Let <laughs> me the base so that we can stabilize the torch. So anytime you're done with this, you want to make sure that you get this put back and stabilize that. Okay. Arlena, I know Kiari's getting to be pretty good about that. <laughs> and Arlena, she says that she feels about sawing like Kate feels about filing. You know, there is definitely something to be said for that because there is uh, a lot of sound uh, issues that people sometimes have with some of those. But well, sawing, sawing can be bad. Like, I don't have too much of a problem when I'm sawing, but that's because I know how it should sound and feel. But when I have students in the studio, I'm like, whoa, is your blade tight enough? Do you got too big of a saw blade in there? Because it's like crunch, 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 instead of shoo, shoo, shoo. I mean, it's kind of funny. Okay, so in this case, normally what we would do is we would take this over and pickle it. However, since we don't have the pickle on and we're already at an hour in our video, no, you're gonna take a green scrubby. Where's our green scrubby? I cleaned up our bench, that's the problem. Right here. Oh, good, thank you. So what I want you to do is I want you to scrub off. What? For one <laughs> okay. Never mind. Go ahead and scrub the back of that. She did do a good job. So yeah, these were kind of tricky, uh, especially like when you are working with these little tiny tube settings. That heat will heat up those tubes because they're sticking up, and the solder will go onto the tube. And what has to happen is you've got to get that back plate heated up. So that's why on the second one I said, you know, don't even really touch your piece with the torch. Just go around it, and that will heat up that back plate, and it'll pull that solder down and kind of. And then that tube will heat up. It naturally. <laughs> so if you can't hold it, try putting it into a pair of pliers. No, because then I'll squish it. No, you won't. Look, look. Okay. You've got tons of room to hold this, right? You won't be able to do the whole thing, but see if you do something like this where you've got it and you hold it in, let's see which camera can we go to? Ah, I know you guys are kind of far away on this one, but what I would do is I would place this right here. See that? And really the only place that we really need to have kind of cleaned off is right there in the center. And if that wasn't working, then we can take one of these abrasives, let me move this foot pedal here, and you would just come in here. We don't want to do that because that could saw down the texture. Yeah, but this is where our post is going to go. That's where your earring post is going to go. You just need to have a clean spot where that earring post is going, right? So that's one of the ways that we can do this. We just come in here. But it's all yucky and yellow on the other side. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. We will still pickle this, but we need a clean surface right here for where we're going to solder our post. Okay? And that's really all we need. And by having it kind of dirty, it's actually not a terrible thing because it means that the solder isn't going to flow completely everywhere. All right, so hand me this wire here and let me grab, oh, we need a cutter as well. Hurry, yeah. Okay, and grab me, there's a cutter right there. So when you do a pair of post earrings, um, let's see. <laughs> So Louise, you said they always called me ears when uh, my students were sawing wrong or filing wrong. Yeah, it does. It totally gets you. You can totally tell. And uh, Judy, thank you. I appreciate the comment that you think I'm a good teacher. All right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to cut this kind of long. All right. When we do a post earring, I usually do about 11 millimeters. Don't you want it to be flat and not um, But there is a flat part. 
right? Because one side of my cutters is going to cut flat and the other side is gonna cut pinched. But do you want both sides to be flat? Eventually. Right now, these are so long, I don't care because I'm going to be cutting away that pinched edge anyway. But yes, you are correct. You would typically want to have both sides flat, okay? Because we definitely don't want to put that pinched edge into our ear, right? That would stink. That's what we call lethal jewelry. So, all right, now that we've got that. Now, here's where I do this. I don't know if other people do it this way or not, but what I like to do, let's get over to this camera here. Wait, I have to make that one moment. Okay. So you guys can see hopefully here that we have kind of a little clear spot where we are going to solder that post. Everything else is dirty. All right, and that's totally fine. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take these ear wires and I like to hang them off of the board a little bit. No lethal jewelry. No lethal jewelry. There's a new tie. Yeah, people are gonna be like, what's lethal jewelry? So in this case, I'm. you could do this either with paste flux or liquid flux. It doesn't matter. Either one. Uh, why don't you come over on this side for just a second so I can show you how I do this. So again, I'm going to tip this. I'm just dipping it into the flux. The next thing that I'm going to do, well, we might as well paint this. Where's the paintbrush, honey? Here it is. Okay. So we might as well just go ahead and paint this while we're here. Right? And I don't have to paint the whole thing. I just need to get where we are going to be soldering. Okay, let's close this back up so it doesn't dry out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces of solder and put one here on the board and let's see if I can get this guy one here on the board. I'm going to move these little guys out of our way for now. Close this back up. What? You tipped them over. I did tip them over. That's okay. So here's how I do this. I will take, ah, he's dirty. I will take this into, oh man, a pair of cross-locking tweezers. Okay? Now watch, because I'm gonna do one and you have to do the other. Because I'm mean that way. So, I'm going to put my piece of wire right here, just here at the end, and I just wanna barely get that started to flow. Hopefully you guys saw that. It goes very, very quick. It does not take much, but now you can kind of see that that solder is kind of balled up right there on the end of the wire, okay? And we're not oxidized or anything because we didn't go very far. Here you go, your turn. So I'll even put this in here just for you. How is that? Maybe we could just have a Switch shirt that goes, no, 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 no. What's that? You could just have a shirt that goes, no, 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 no. I know, right? <laughs> Talking about with the solder flowing and our pieces melting, for sure. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and get your torch going. Okay, so now be careful that you don't hit over here, right? We want to just concentrate. Get, your, get this in here first. Good. Yep, touch it to your solder. Good. Okay, bring it. I know, I know. It's okay. Just bring it down onto the board. Just bring it on the board. You're okay. Here, it's okay. On the board, honey. On the board. There you go. So there we go. Okay, stop. Get out. Perfect. Turn off your torch. Okay, good. So now what we are going to do, and we can do this a couple of different ways. Okay, you can take, let's see, I need another pair of tweezers here. Those tweezers are too short. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aw, oh, thank you, Glenda. <laughs> oh, Glenda, you said that you smile when you hear solder. We should say solder as in colder. I know, it's so funny. It's funny that we say solder instead of solder. Okay, so now here's what you can do. You can take this and you can hold this right here. Ooh, and then you can flow it. Trick. Exactly. Or you and can I don't take... I have to hold it. Exactly. <gasps> it. I did drop it, darn it. There we go. Dropping my stuff. <laughs> I am. Okay, so let's say then that we want to use this. Now this is uh, Will Cobb's... Uh, hummingbird. <laughs> no, no, that's not a hummingbird. <laughs> Ellie Ganeem right makes now. the hummingbirds. This is a Will hold. No, but it's like another hummingbird. <laughs> kind of, huh? Okay, so I think that that is in position. 
Uh, there we go. Or maybe it's his kiwi. Okay, Is so there's kiwi? this. I do not know. Judy has kiwis in Australia. <laughs> maybe that's where we should okay. we should go. Hang on, look, we gotta her. give we, we gotta go give visit her and get kiwis. <laughs> look, Glenda gave us a fist bump, ready? Oh, you wanna do fist bumps here? Q. Fist bump, fist Q. bump. Q. Q. And fist bump, fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Glenda. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. Oh, of course. Not Does your, he know who's doing the live No, he doesn't know that I'm doing a live video. Okay, so Kate, the next thing that we want to do, um, actually, I don't want to call him. Go ahead and get your torch ready. <laughs> call in the middle of the video, hello. I know, I know. It's my husband calling. <laughs> so, let's see. Let me call my dad. Okay, so we need, she says there's no kiwis, but we can go see the koalas. Ooh, so did you know my dad lived in, in Australia for two years? Mm -mm. Yeah, my dad was down in Perth. I think he, he might have lived in Sydney for a little bit, but I know he lived in Perth for a while. Okay, so we need okay. to go see the koalas. And that would we'll be go, fun. We'll go somewhere else and we'll see the kiwis, and then we'll go, <laughs> go everywhere. <laughs> All right, so, oh crap, Kate. You gotta go. It's your flute lesson. Wait. It's Monday. Right. Yep, your lesson is right now. Hurry fast. <laughs> All right, let me show you how we would do this. Okay, let me show you what we would do because on this one, Kate Witch, watch really fast. Oh man, they keep calling. Stop calling. But anyway, so notice that I'm not hitting my piece at all. I'm just heating up the whole piece. There you go, see that? Did you see that that flowed? Right there, did you see this? Or were you watching my phone? <laughs> I was watching this actually. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. All right, you guys, so flute lessons are normally on Tuesday, but today it is on Monday. <laughs> and it's like three minutes ago. So, I guess we're going to call this quits really quick. We will finish this up tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys at least saw how that went. I will have Kate do the other one tomorrow so you guys can get another visual on that. We better go. Ah, totally crazy time. Anyway, we will talk to you guys tomorrow, 145 Mountain Daylight Time. So, thank you for joining us. Bye. <laughs>